prompt engineering is the new C++. So does that mean it's a shitty experience in which we're going to continuously make changes that will never actually be kept up on? Is that is that what it is? What what is what does it mean? What does it mean to be the new C++? Well, you'd think you'd pick a better language to begin with, like anything. Over-engineered? Prompt engineering. They made this with a prompt engineer. Did you know that? Then they got Python and apparently C. I don't get this image at all. This image makes no sense. Okay. Can a programming language ever get replaced? One might say that C was replaced by C++. Who's that one? Which was later replaced by Python. Am I getting chat jippetied? We're not even... We're, we're literally one sentence in. I'm getting chat jippetied out of my mind right now. Like, right now, this is happening. C++ was replaced by Python. You heard it here first, folks. Though Python has been able to stand its ground amid rapidly rising languages like Rust, the latest competitor is our beloved English, writing on prompt engineering. Prompt programming is something that Python folks are forced to hate. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hell yeah. As... Alexa Gordik, former DeepMind and ex-Microsoft researcher, put it, the history of computer science is the history of smirking at one thing that's about to replace you. Okay. English cannot even uh, sort out pronouns. Dude, this is very confusing. During the Microsoft build 2023, there was a great emphasis on the fact that now everyone's a developer. My mom's a developer? Hey, picky in the audience. I was just wondering something really quickly. I was wondering if your mom needs me to come over and debug her program. I mean, now that she's a developer and all, I could come over and develop her. I could, I could come over and debug her program, maybe a little one-on-one -on -one training. You know, just let me know. Let me know. I'll be over. With the rise of models that can write codes for everyone. Oh, I love, I love Perlize code. Nothing says, hey, everybody, hey, I'm a boomer. Like throwing the word, like just, just putting an S on anything. I love it. It's my favorite my favorite boomer activity is putting an S on something. Anyways, so anyone can write, uh, let's see, uh, with the rise of these models that can write codes for everyone uh, was just a single prompt. But on the other hand, the creator of models such as Chat Jippity, Sam Altman, believes otherwise. He believes that the current state of prompt engineering is only because of the tempor uh, temporary limitations and capabilities of large language model. He believes in his mind. <laughs> I mean, I guess you got you could believe in your mind or in your heart, right? Like, there's kind of two locations when you really think about it. There's two locations in which you could believe. This is just a, an example, and I actually just pressed that. I just pressed the link. Uh, he believes in his mind that anyone who does prompt engineering right now would not be doing it in the next five years. That is not because it will become a that it will become a fad. It is because everyone, including LLVMs, would be too proficient in understanding what the user wants and generating it perfectly. Is it a tall claim? Firstly, it might be true technologically. Altman, being the creator of such models, might be able to estimate the possibilities that these LLMs hold in the future. So just so you know, historically, people that have researched AI, we're talking about from the 60s and on, have been some of the worst projectors of how much AI is going to take over. <laughs> pick, pick, are you calling it? Are you calling it right now? Damn it, I don't have it up. Pick's calling it. Okay, Pick's calling it. We got to go to downloads really quickly. Wait, where's my downloads? Where is it? Unnecessary dick riding. We're calling it. Call it, everybody. Flag on the play, everybody. Flag on the play. Right here, right now. Sorry, Sam Altman. Flag. Uh, secondly, secondly, language language being the most important tool in the world is not something that anyone would deny. Text is the projection of the world, said OpenAI's co-founder, Isla Sutskever. While he was talking about the capabilities of LLMs and, and the text-based models would possibly lead to AGI, it could... It can also be said that the perfect arrangement of words to bring out meaning and information is always going to be mightier than any sword. Ask men. That's what we're talking about, huh? Huh, boys? This article's sexist. Uh, let's see. C++, Java, Python, uh, C, x86, MIPS, HTML, uh, JavaScript, ActionScript, Bash, Ruby, Squeal. This is great. Uh, what if the sword is, like, really big? Like Elden Ring big? 
Yeah, I don't think you can talk your way out of that one. Uh, coming back to programming languages, just as Python could not replace C++. Okay, now you're giving me a mixed... Okay, these are mixed signals. Hold on, hold on. Scroll up to the top here for a second. Which was later replaced by Python. Just as Python could not replace C++. Okay, what's happening here? What is what's what is happening here? Please just be consistent. I you know, I don't care that you have a bad idea. I just care that you have the same bad idea every time I read your bad ideas. Okay? Not in the single course of one bad idea do you have two confounding bad ideas. Prompts may not be able to replace coding. Some people still use assembly, C, C++ for building frameworks and algorithms. Python is good for machine learning, and pruned engineering is good for building models quickly. But to build a foundation from scratch, C or C++ is always going to be there. I would have a lot of questions for someone that's like, hey, what are you going to do? I'm going to build a new company. What are you going to do with it? C++. I'd be like, hmm. Okay, 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 okay. You get that virtual constructor. Uh, that is not to say that prompt engineering holds no value. It has already found its niche and is probably going to stay here for a while. I'm certain cases a lot of prompt engineering jobs pay more than Python. Temporarily, it might look like prompt programming is actually replacing Python. What will replace prompt engineering? If we think about it, you know. Binary is the only real language? Absolutely. Prompt, uh, prompting is very similar to a lot of other languages. It is just a language that feels closer to human languages. Going on Chad Jippity or Codex is just typing in what you want. Does not work that easily. It's a skill to learn well. I actually don't know how to do... I, I'm trying to become a great prompt engineer, and I'm just not quite there yet. Anyone who has tried building models by throwing prompts at these models would know that it's not a piece of cake. The best part about prompting is that it's m mostly just trial and error. If one prompt doesn't work, try another. It might work out eventually, but isn't that the case with a lot of programming languages as well? You need to have the basic knowledge of coding before you jump into Python. Prompt engineering just removes that barrier to entry as well. This is like a Melky. This is a Mel this is a Melky joke. Apart from the legal and ethical issues of copying code from Stack Overflow, ethical issues? Ethical? What? The only ethics you should have about copying code from Stack Overflow is the fact you're putting Stack Overflow code into any of the programs you are writing. You should feel ashamed of yourself more than anything else, okay? That's the only ethical question you should be asking yourself is, do I really want to put what's in Stack Overflow into this program? Because it's a, it's a roll of the dice. That is a roll of the dice. She. Uh, and other programmers, uh, the problem with these code generation platforms is that they are not perfect. Even if two people generate the same prompt, the results might be different. Moreover, debugging the code written by these models is a task in itself. One would require the knowledge of programming languages. Yes. So what would kill prompt engineering? Probably in a few years as LLMs get better. It would be in everybody's ability to generate perfect outputs every time. By the way, the most interesting thing that would uh, kill prompt engineering would be the th uh, would be thought prompting. With Neuralink... Oh, man, is that like a Tesla business? We're going to get Tesla right... Is Elon Musk going to put an AI in my brain? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, with similar projects coming into the picture soon, just like P Python, Puthon, uh, developers smirk at prompt engineering. Prompt folks would jeer at them. These thought prompters can't even type their own prompts. Losers. And that's the end of the article. All right, everybody. You heard it here first. Python has officially replaced C++. Python hasn't replaced C++. And neural links going straight in your butthole. And you're going to be able to think programs up. Thought prompters. That actually sounds like 1984. <laughs> I don't think I like this article anymore. Hey, kids. Is that how it's going to become popularized? Plus AI energy, classic, equals MC squared plus AI energy. 10 out of 10. Any, every, I hope everybody likes Neuralink going in the brains. You know, this is not written by Jippity because it's dumb. <laughs> At least Jippity would have a sensibility not to toss out that ending. Okay, come on. Marker, end of prompt. It's not even a brilliant. Yeah, I know. He should have primped out the article. Come on. Hey, the name is the primogen. Sorry for dogging on the article, but it was especially bad.